Jimmy Thang from Maximum PC here at Computex 2015. I'm here at G-Skills booth speaking with Mark. And Mark, can you tell us what we're looking at here? Hi, uh, sure. Um, right here, we have our newest Trident Z series DDR4 memory. And this is going to be available and specifically uh, designed for the latest Skylake uh, next-gen platform from Intel. And this will be released somewhat, sometime around um, August this year. Okay. okay. Cool. And right here we have the Rip Jaws 4 DDR4 memory kits. Um, what you see here is the limits on what we have pulled up to uh, for X99 motherboards. And we've gotten up to 3,800 megahertz. This is the highest speed that uh, we are going to demo. We have we are demoing here at Computex this year. And what you can see here, uh, it's featured on the ASRock motherboard as well as the Gigabyte motherboard. And these are also timings with CL19. And what we also feature today, uh, this week at Computex, is also the 16 gigabyte modules. What you see here is a kit where we have four modules of four gigabyte, but on the other side, we have 16 gigabytes single modules where you can configure up to 64 gigabytes with four modules, or 128 gigabytes with eight modules on the X99 motherboard. Cool. And this application can be fit around our, you can use it in high memory capacity uh, uses like uh, content creation, video editing, photo editing, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And like computational stuff as well. Yeah, and that's where you need the speed of uh, both the memory and the CPU to increase and reduce that computational time. Uh, you guys are showing off like 3800 megahertz here, which is like ridiculously fast. Uh -huh. uh, is that like is that the fastest uh, DDR4 now or? Well, this is what uh, this is the fastest so far for the X99 DDR4. Okay. With future platforms, we'll be able to, well, hopefully, be able to get higher frequencies and faster CPUs and get the whole system up to speed. Okay. And I think, like, uh, you know, with DDR4, we're seeing much faster speeds than like DDR3. Is it just something inherent with DDR4 that allows you to clock it faster? Well, that's just the base design with it, because with DDR3, you start off from 800 MHz, 1066 MHz, but with DDR4, we're starting from 2133 MHz, and starting from a base uh, frequency of just double, that just increases, um, that allows you to increase the limits, and what we're seeing is just technology improving with uh, smaller manufacturing processes. Mm. So that allows you to get higher speeds. Gotcha. And last question, sure. I have to ask, what is what is going on here? Can you talk about this setup right there? Right here what we have is uh, our memory fans. This is the Turbulence 3. Um, what we have here is because when you overclock the memory up to 3,800 megahertz. You can have a nice cool, like an active cooler. Yeah, it's gonna get a little bit hot. Um, but this is still at 1.35 volts, so this is still pretty low. Um, but it does generate some heat. And in order to cool it down, we have these uh, memory coolers, which are also for, on sale right now, or for sale right now. And what this does is that we have a specific, uh, we designed it so that it can tilt. So if you have like large CPU coolers like this, mm -hmm. um, you can actually tilt it and then so it can avoid the clearance of the high CPU coolers while cooling your memory. Gotcha. And, and is, when is this stuff on sale? Like the, the RAM and then the cooler? Ah, the cooler here, the memory cooler here is already for sale. Okay. Um, but the RAM here at 3,800 is, this is just a demonstration of how high DDR4 can go. But at the moment, we have up to 3,400 megahertz for sale. And you can see the Trident Z series starting from August. Gotcha. Cool, thank you, Mark. No problem.